YouTube, how are we? Today's video is a full day of eating. What have I been eating for this last week on this deload, which has been completely no training, just cardio and steps. And we're still continuing to see new lows. So I was 95.4 kilos this morning. And when we started the deload, I was at around 96 to 97. So it's all going well, it's all going very well. Um, like I said, today's video is solely food based to give you guys an idea of what the setup has been. And then I'll do another video in a week or two time where calories will be dramatically lower. So the deload, the idea is to remove inflammation and lower stress, which has paid off massively. And so what I will say, a little disclaimer, I'm not a chef, all right? I've not got the fancy tricks. I'll try my best to make it look as visually appealing as possible. Uh, and it's not a cooking show either, so I'm not going to be doing the slow mos and this, that, and the other. I'll leave that to the other people. This is just solely what am I eating? <laughs> I think I managed to see in GCSE, uh, what was it, food tech, and uh, got helped heavily along the way. So don't expect much, but just the information about the food. Meal one, let's get into it. So there we are, not, bad, not a bad start. I must say I was pretty impressed with how I got on with making that. So meal one, 320 grams of egg whites, which I had to remove with a tablespoon after recording it, which is an absolute bull ache. And then we've got 100 grams of mushrooms, 50 grams of spinach, 100 grams of tomatoes, and 300 grams of strawberries. Um, so obviously bar the fructose, very, very, very low carb, trace carbs, but obviously I'll put the uh, macros here somewhere on each meal. Um, so the time is 11 a.m. So I finished fastest cardio around 7, 7.30 a.m. Continue to fast for a few reasons, mainly to ensure that blood glucose levels are low due to what we put in pre-cardio. Um, and also then it closes that window for eating throughout the day. Now I tried to have my last meal at 8 p.m. I have five meals a day. So now I'm through that. I can enjoy food every few hours, which is ideal. And it's funny because food's gone up, but appetite hunger is all time high now, which has made it very, very interesting. So I'm gonna enjoy this and we will reconvene meal two. And I think just for ease, I will just show you the meals. I don't want to show you five lots of preparing food, but obviously I'll go into it. I don't want to, don't want to bore anyone with this, but it will be interesting. So I'm going to eat anyway. I don't even know if I'm making sense. I'm just so hungry. <laughs> okay, so meal number two is going in. And I don't know if it's because I'm on prep. So I'm thinking like everything's tasty because I'm just so hungry. But honestly, you just can't beat this. Oh. You just can't beat it, all right? You ready? Cabbage and leek with mushrooms to go with it. A little bit of this. Okay, so meal number two. Meal number two, we've got, I forgot what we've got. 175 grams cooked chicken, 150 grams of potato, 100 grams of cabbage and leek, and 
100 grams, no, 50 grams of cabbage and leek, and 100 grams of mushrooms, along with 50 grams of lettuce, and to go with 250 grams of raspberries. I'm, I, I actually love this meal. It's one of those where when you're in a diet or prep, you think, oh, this would be a staple going forward. It lasts probably about a week or two after prep. But right now, cabbage leek mushroom with some skinny, skinny garlic mayo is absolutely slapping. Now, what I will mention is I don't believe they are zero calories, but they are a lot less caloric dense than if I had garlic mayo, right? So it's still a variable that's controlled, but it's like, it's elimination, right? So if you have a skinny syrup barbecue sauce, it's gonna have next to no sugar compared to a regular barbecue sauce. So it's a really easy way to lower your calories. I had the regular sauces at the start of prep, and then I've just switched the amount for the skinny. So we know it's, you know, creating that calorie deficit. So I'm gonna enjoy this now, and I'll catch you back at meal number three. Okay, so meal number three about to go down. What time is it? It is half past three. So the meal, what is it? Let me grab my supplements also because we take those at this time of the day. So it's a glorious meal. Oh, it is very welcomed this time of day. Obviously, meal one, no carb. Meal two, 150 grams potato, so minimal carb. Now we get some actual carbohydrates in the system. We've got 100 grams of cream of rice with 60 grams of whey, 20 grams of dark chocolate, and 250 grams of blueberries. I'll also have now the supplement needs multivitamin, CV stack, Omega Pros, and the pond water. Supplement needs green. Which I actually think is all right, but again, I'm on prep, so taste buds could be a little bit sensitive at the minute. So that is meal three. This will be very enjoyed with a little spoon. I'll take it all in. And the important thing when you're eating your meals actually is to, is to actually sit with the meal, chew the food, overly chew as that massively helps digestion. Making sure food tastes good is a massive part of digestion also and not to be doing work, not to be doing tasks, whether you are watching something that's quite easy going, whether it's a podcast or whatever, like I'm smashing the Olympics when I eat a meal at the moment. Um, and of course it's the weekend. So uh, by the way, this has been filmed, it's Sunday. Um, so yeah, meal three, I'll catch you for meal four in a couple of hours. Right, here we are, meal number four. The time is actually 7 p.m. So I delayed things a little bit. Um, after this meal, we'll go for a walk. I'll take you for a walk and we will have a chat. But for now, the meal that we've got in front of us, we've got 100 grams of cream of rice, strawberry and banana flavor with 125 grams of raspberries. And then to supplement that, we have 300 grams of Greek yogurt with 125 grams of berries. I fell a little bit short on the blackberries, so we have an additional top up of the raspberry. Now this meal, obviously in last meal, both contains 100 grams of cream of rice, so having the larger portions of uh, slower releasing carbohydrate, heavier meal in the day, and then what you'll see with the final meal, it's a lot lighter, quicker to digest, finish off with a walk, job done. So I'm gonna sit, I'm gonna enjoy. I'm looking forward to this, this is the meal that it gets me going, to be fair. I'm gonna look back on this and think, oh, you are one hungry bloke. But I am very, very hungry. And so, uh, yeah, I'll eat this, we'll go for a walk, have a little chat, go from there. Time for a little walk then. So I think uh, main point of call for me with, with steps in general, to really appreciate the value and what you can actually do and spend your time with when you're getting your steps in. So for example, you know, if you're looking at like five to 10,000 steps, it's easily 20 to 40 minutes of walking, sometimes more in total. 
So instead of, you know, just aimlessly walking around or worse, just like on your phone, scrolling social media, pick a, pick a particular topic or something a little bit different to jump into. That's what I would say. So for example, for myself, I'm going into property. And so I'm on my steps, I'm eating up as many property development podcasts or um, information as possible, whether it's YouTube, whether it's Spotify. And that's why in terms of like, it doesn't necessarily have to be something that you have a passion for, but something which will be really useful. And using this time is almost like walking and learning. Um, that being said, it could be self-development book, it could be something along those lines. Not just aimlessly walk around, it's such a precious bit of time here where actually, you know, between 20, 30, maybe even longer a day, an hour, an hour a day, you know, seven hours a week, you could really rack something up very, very quickly. And in a position where you're calm, heart rate's in a good place, you'd be actively listening, no distractions. So it's really a unique period of time getting your steps in. And I think just a little bit of awareness with how you spend your time is a massive, massive tool. So sort of ask yourself when you're plodding around, you know, could I be looking into something? Could I be reading, learning a new language maybe? Who knows? Something a bit different, which is just taking your mind away from the day itself. You know, if you're working or whatever it may be, sometimes if you're going to put your steps in, all you're going to be thinking about is work or on social media. So it's a nice little side quest of mission of your life, which will just compound nicely over time. You know, like I said, after after a month, that could be 15 to 30 hours put in. You know, that's almost... Yeah, 7.14. Yeah, you know, 30 to 50... 15 to 30 hours a month of something new or something that's going to benefit you is massive, massive and will most definitely pay off. So this walk here is a couple of thousand. It like gives me time for this meal to go down. I'll chill out for a bit and then I will show you what the fifth and final meal of the day is. So for now, I'm going to plod around. It's not quite Dubai Marina, but I'm in just as a good place here than I am there. Nothing changes just because external changes doesn't change our thoughts, doesn't change our patterns, doesn't change our habits. So feeling grateful. The sun is out, which is a big plus, of course. And, you know, going into the 5.5 week out mark now, face is starting to go a little bit and we're coming in. So feeling confident, but we'll go into that in another video. This is all about food. So here we are. Final meal, meal number five is going in and also the, uh, the outro to this vlog. So what we have got is 175 grams of chicken, 50 grams of lettuce, 50 grams of cabbage and leek and 100 grams of mushrooms, along with 100 grams of cereal, top tip for cereals. Never just have all of the same cereal in there. Mix it up, turn it into a little bit of a, a pick and mix. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And like I said, I'm gonna be putting out two videos a week, more like the vlog style like this. If there's anything in particular you wanna see, you know, I'm five weeks out now, so if there's any videos that you particularly want, let me know. I'm putting in the effort to build this up. All support is appreciated. If you did like the video, give it a like. If you didn't, it helps the algorithm anyway. So any interaction is useful for me. I'll catch you in the next video. Have a good one.